It's people I'm about to categorize. <laughs> Outside of like your core fans, I feel like when people hear Stylely, they think of MMG. Yeah. But as we just had conversations, it goes way before MMG, mm-hmm. right? Even to the f- fact that like you was working with Dame Dash, DD172, yep. and Creative Control. Yes. How did that happen? So that happened... Again, being outside New York City, performing everywhere. I actually did a show. Um, I believe it was at BB King's. It was uh, me, Mickey Fax, Wiz Khalifa, and Currency, and I want to say Styles P was on that show. Maybe other people, uh, you know, but I, I think I remember what those years. What year is this? Give me a reference. I think 2009. I think 2009. So we talking about like Prime Styles P. Did Styles drop? Um, I get high. Uh, uh, yeah, I believe that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he performed that. Went crazy. The, you know the place. And currency went crazy. is already currency Lil is, Wayne um, rap after that. So he's like, um, he's Damn. about to get into pilot talk basically. But this was before pilot talk though. So this is like. Um, uh, what is it like? Maybe Fly Society times, like when he was really killing the. Was that that's what he was right? What, what was Khalifa? Was this? This wasn't Kevin Fever, right? It no, 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 no. This was. I'm uh, about to say this. No was, way. This was no, no. This nah, was Flight nah. School. This was Flight School with. Damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this you, was uh what five oh one Levi's and fl- uh Flight Club. So y'all, 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 like, y'all, that with y'all in the paint the picture, y'all. What yeah. Happened? So we all. At B, um, BB Kings, we do a show. I want to say it was the CMJ Festival, music festival. Um, we all perform. Everybody gets off stage. I don't know how the conversation came about, but I think Mickey was talking to maybe Currency and Wiz, and they were all saying they were going back to see Dame. And this is, they was like, oh, at DD172, but nobody knew what it was at the time. Um, and I want to say... Creative control might have been there with currency. He might have had them because they had might have already been in talks with however. So, anyways, we leave the show. We all end up back at this space, DD 172 with Dame Dash. And uh we all just chopping it up. Creative control, Cootie and Chike. Um, you know, Cootie um was the one that did the genius documentary for uh Kanye on Netflix. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we all there. They're filming everything. Just a general, con- you know, just just a conversation. Uh, we get, like, I think, start rapping. You know, it's MCs in the building. There's rappers in the building. So we just start rapping. And then Dame was like, basically like, yo, I'm opening this space. It's DD172. It's kind of like a collective space where um, kind of sl- art gallery slash, excuse me, art gallery slash music hub. He was like, we got Ski Beats. Ski Beats was there as well. Shout out to Ski. Ski Beats was there. He's like, we got Ski Beats here. He makes, he produces, you know, Ski did like all the reasonable doubt, him and Clark Kent and those guys. So he's, you know, and he did uh, Camp Low stuff too. I don't know if you're familiar with Camp Low. I know you're a little young. but Yeah, I'm just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I embrace my youth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. But you, Lucini, you know that song? Lucini <laughs> Faller from the Sky. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, Ski is there. We there. Um, and then Dane was basically, he just opened it up for us. He was like, yo, um, if you guys are in the city anytime, you guys can feel free. Come here, create. We got the studio here. We got uh, cameramen and videographers and editors on deck. Um, it's just use this as a space to be able to create content. This was before all of the content game. How much did this help your career at that time? Do you remember? Oh, mega, man. Like that day, I think from that day, the first day we went and the first day I met him, I was there every day for probably like two, three years straight. And you dropped one of your like one of your big singles. Yeah, I dropped. Um, well, address the, came from out of that with okay. me and currency, but I dropped the, the autobiography. Yeah. yeah, so I had put together. So around that same time, I put together this mixtape called the autobiography, and um, that's what I was like really performing at that time. So I probably was performing those records at that at that show that I'm telling you about, and then. I ended up shooting a music video for the autobiography out of DD-172 with Creative Control. And that was the first music video I ever um, recorded or shot. So wait, so how long after, because I'm, I'm still, like you said, I'm young. So I'm just trying to figure out how long after, this was post-Rock Nation or Rockefeller? Yes, yes. How long after? Like, how, like what was it? 
the gap, I guess. I got man, this got to be. It was years because. When did when Because I want to say, when did the, I think they stopped being Rockefeller or I think they stopped dealing with each other around the Black Album. So when did the Black Album release? Was that 2004? 03, 04? I want to say, a, yeah, I want to say the Black Album check. is when um, when they stopped like being Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Like when Rockefeller kind of like. So it's like was, four years. Yeah. Was completely like not it. Like no more. 2004? Yeah, 2004, oh. right? November, uh, the 03. Yeah, 03. November, yeah, so, okay. Yeah, so okay. I think 04, Late, it was, 03. you know, 03, 04, it was done. So, yeah, you think, it, you th you talking four or five years later. Dame still Because this going. was like 2009. Okay, so Dame still going crazy. He got currency. He got, before you, it was uh, currency, Wiz Khalifa. Um, that was the two big names, right? Yeah, and then um, he had, like, the Black Keys come through there. I don't know. They're, like, a rock band. they actually from Ohio, too. Shout out to the Black Keys. But um, he had the Black Keys who, they, like, mega now. You know what I'm saying? Like So him creating that, right? Mm -hmm. Him being able to create all of this. Like, I guess, how would you look at Dame Dash now? I mean, I look at him the same. Like, I mean, he's a he's a great business mind. You know what I'm saying? He's obviously a mogul. He has amazing ideas. You know what I'm saying? And he continues to reinvent himself. Um, business, you know what I mean? He's definitely one of... Like, I, you definitely got to get... It's crazy because I think I seen... Nah, I think I seen him say on Vlad one... This is a long time ago. Mm -hmm. He was saying that he could see the um, inspiration from Revolt of creative of creative control. Do you see that? Cause you see that? Cause yeah, you were for sure, for sure. In for that sure. Time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because they I mean, I will say this. I I mean, I could be wrong, but before I got with got around DD one seventy two and creative control, before I got around Cootie and Chike and those guys, like I didn't know any other artists that were filming everything. Like the the even vlogs, right? Vlogs came about I, through creative control. I don't remember any artist before that like documenting every thing so, they did. So you telling <laughs> me you telling me it wasn't Soldier Boy that did it first. It was Creative Control. I mean, maybe Soldier Boy. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't paying attention. That's your that's your age group. <laughs> and I'm sure, I'm sure somewhere Soldier Boy would say he, he did, was the yeah, first yeah. rapper to do this. So you gonna go on record and tell me that Soldier Boy wasn't the first person to do a vlog? Uh, and it was Dame Dash. That's what you gonna sit up here and I'm, tell me. I'm gonna say Dame, man. I'm gonna say Dame because I. But no, it, I, I wasn't Soldier Boy the first one on YouTube though. Bro, I don't know. I think he was. I think he that's was. what he said. No, I think he was though. Honestly, I no, because I feel like it was a rapper somewhere that had like proof of like they were on YouTube before him. I think oh, really? I don't know who it was, but I, I remember who was it? It was MySpace. Okay. Oh, Soldier Boy. Oh, okay. Okay. I, okay. I thought he was the first one on YouTube. I feel like it was a rapper that came out. No, it was a rapper that came out and showed like the proof. It you want to know the? Uh, I'm gonna tell you how old I am, right? You know the first person I remember on YouTube Ooh. is the unforgettable. Remember him? Remember him? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> he, he, he was even like, know that is. yeah, unforgettable. <laughs> yeah, he used to be like unforgettable. <laughs> like he used to tell these stories. Or I, I don't even know if he was saying unforgettable. It was something <laughs> like that. But that's the first I ever knew. Say unforgettable. To be. Yeah, no, that's what he was, bro. I'm telling you, look it up. Yeah, he was walking around in the woods like on some Blair Witch project. I don't stuff. even remember that. Bro, you got to look it I'm up. I'm going to look up that. Because it's probably still on there. That okay. joint should have a billion views now. <laughs> like, I'm crazy. telling you, whenever I first heard of YouTube, I think it was because of him, bro. Okay, so we're going to give it a Dame <laughs> Dash. Like, we're going to give it a Dame Dash. Let me ask you this. Do you think he get the respect he deserve? Dame? Mm -hmm. I, I, I do, and you know, I do, and I don't. Just because... Um, I feel like people try to dismiss or discredit everything that he's ever done just because of he's outspoken. Exactly. Or, you know, they might disagree with one or two things and then it's like everything he ever said or did was not valid. Mm -hmm. Or they might be Jay-Z fans and they just he's not valid. You know what I mean? <laughs> like so for whatever reason, but I think that can he get more, I guess, credit and love? Probably. You know what mm. I'm saying? I think we all can. 
You know what I'm saying? Yo, I think you, we we all pioneer things in in a certain way that deserves like to be spoken on, and I feel like he's one of those people. Yo, I'm usually the one in the room always just joking about me being old, but I'm gonna <laughs> shift it to you because you want that, so I'm gonna let you have that title. I'm not but, old though. You've been saying you you so that's what you've been saying. So listen, I'm gonna let you have that. <laughs> I'm gonna soak all the knowledge up. Yeah, I'm wise, wisdom. I'm okay, you wisdom. You wise. <laughs> Let me ask you this, bro. You've been in the game so long. We see people like a Dame Dash who speaks on things, right? But then we see people like a a Jay-Z who probably haven't been as vocal. Mm-hmm. And you see how it can hurt a Dame Dash. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's worth it? In what sense? Of your career, of your legacy, of what you're trying to build, do you think it's worth it to to stand on what you believe in so much? I think it's mandatory to protect your legacy, especially when you are doing it from the heart and you're doing it with good intentions. Mm. So if your belief follows those things, your beliefs follow those things, and that's what you want to see happen, and that's what you want to make happen in other people's lives when it comes to, like you said, if I'm giving you advice because I've been in this for X amount of years, I'm going to stand on it, but I'm going to also do it in a way that you receive it in a good way. Mm. Right? You know what I mean? I don't want you to take it and be like, well, like you said, like, well, he did it this way or he took this the shortcut or he, you know, was wilding by, so I can wild and do it. You know what I mean? So I think that you just got to basically do it in a way where you can be a good example. Mm. And I think it's worth it then to answer your question. Yeah. No, I, I just say that because I, be, I feel like Dame is definitely somebody that deserves his just doing his flowers and I feel like, like you said, man, a lot of times his history with so many other people over powers or, or get or have him overlooked because of people, it might rub people the wrong way. It goes back to what you said, like when we first started the conversation, be a good person. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. If you be a good person, not many people have anything to say bad about you. Nah, facts. So it's all about how you affect people's, you know, that's why they always say, watch who you step on on your way to the top. You know mm, what I mean? Mm-mm. I swear, bro, I think somebody told me this years ago, they were like, bro, a person, they'll forget your face. They might even forget your name, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Exactly. Never. Exactly. And that's how I try to move like, man, I don't care. I'm outside having a bad day. Somebody say, Y'all watch your podcast? Well, for real? My podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You right. see my podcast? <laughs> right, right. Nah, and I mean it. I'm, it yeah, of like, course, of course. Same damn. with me. Like, you know, like anybody come to me and they say my name or say a song or listen to anything or they shout BCG or whatever. Like, bro, it's a humbling experience. You know what I mean? 